friends we are back with another DIY here today and I'm going to be making um, a large almost like a window pane for my mantle um, I'm gonna be using 12 of the 5 by 7 frames from the Dollar Tree and these are the ones that are um, they have the flat edge on them so the 90 degree angle edge and they're the ones that kind of come in that gold tone and um, they say three and a half by five, but that's the opening right here. The frame itself is a five by seven frame. So you can use any size frames that you wanted. I actually chose this size because I wanted to have a lot of different um, like panels was within this window. Um, so I'm actually gonna have 12 panels. So I'm gonna do four rows of three or three rows of four. Um, so I picked those up from the Dollar Tree. I also grabbed this little Easter greetings um, hanging, I think it's like a hanging piece. Um, I am going to take this apart and I'm just gonna be using this center piece right here. Um, I'll probably do something different with this top piece, but for this that I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna use the center piece. And I also have three of these long, stems of greenery it's the greenery that i use i've used this in a lot of different projects that i've or a lot of different decorating things that i've done um but these have just the green leaves on them and like some of the little green berries and a lot of this like um little woodsy pieces that you see here so i have three of those that i'm going to be using but to start out, we're basically just going to be using our frames because that is um, going to be the base of what we're making. I have my hot glue gun and some hot glue. And so now I'm going to unwrap all of the cellophane and we're going to get started. All right, so now that I have all my cellophane off each of the frames, I'm going to take the back off and I'm actually gonna pull the little tabs out and you, most of them come out pretty easily. You can just kind of wiggle them back and forth and they will come right out. If not, um, you can use like a small pair of pliers, um, but just usually wiggling them back and forth um, works for me. So I'm just gonna wiggle these out and then I'm gonna take off my inserts and um, the matting that's on the inside because I just want the frame itself just like this I really just want the frame in the glass I don't even want the back piece but we can save this for other projects I save all of my stuff because I'm always looking for cardboard and stuff so uh, I'm just gonna save that stuff and put it aside but I just want the frame and the glass so I'm gonna do that for all 12 frames okay so now I have all of my backing off and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue down each piece of the glass to the frame so I'm gonna take my glass out I'm gonna put just a little dab of hot glue in each corner I'm just gonna set my glass back in and that will make sure that the glass stays in each frame so I'm gonna do that to all 12 of my frames as well so because this is gonna be a fairly large piece um, we're we're using 12 of these frames and they're gonna all be glued together to make a large square I wanted to make sure that whatever glue I was using was going to hold really well so I am actually going to be using the Gorilla All Temperature Hot Glue Sticks, which are these ones right here. These are the ones that I have found to hold the best out of all the different brands that I've tried. Now, I'm just using just a little small high temp glue gun right here like this. I got this one at Joann Fabrics. It was like $4, maybe $5, something like that. Very inexpensive. Um, but that is the glue that I'm gonna be using to hold this all together. So what I'm gonna do is I am now going to lay out my design. And so I'm gonna be doing four frames um, side by side, just like this. So I'm gonna be gluing these four frames together. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue um, another row of four like this and then a third row of four 
on the very top. But I'm actually gonna just work um, one row at a time when I'm gluing. So I'm gonna start with four frames. I've got my glue heated up right now. Make sure I have enough glue open and ready to go. So the biggest thing that you want to make sure that you accomplish is that you want to make sure that you're lining up these frames perfectly together so that there's no, um, there's no difference in height um, on the piece that's going to butt up against the next layer of frames. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to just put some of the hot glue. And you also wanna make sure that your glue is good and hot. If it's not hot enough yet, it won't stick good. So I'm gonna lay mine flat and I'm going to just push it together and I'm gonna make sure that top is lined up. If the bottom doesn't completely line up, that's okay, I'd rather the top line up because whatever piece is gonna be glued to another piece is the piece that you want to line up perfectly. So there's one piece. So I'm gonna glue those two together and then I'm gonna do the same thing to these other two. And again, I've got just a nice strip of glue. I'm gonna lay them flat push them together, make sure the tops line up, and I'm gonna just kind of pinch um, the two frames on the inside together just to kind of make sure that they're good and tight, just until the glue sets. And then once these two are together, then I'm gonna glue these two pieces together. it up pinch it make sure it's perfectly even okay so now we should have a piece just like that so now I'm gonna do two more the same exact way. So we'll have three strips of four frames. All right, so now I have my three strips of four frames glued together. So now I have to glue these frames together. So you gotta work quickly with this so that way the glue doesn't um, harden up. And basically we're gonna do the same thing we did when we glued these together. I'm gonna put a strip of glue on the top side of this one, and then I'm gonna pinch these two frames together and kind of hold it in place. And then I'm gonna put a strip of glue and pinch those two together and hold that in place. But like I said, you gotta work fairly quickly when you do this. So that way your, um, your glue isn't hardening up. Okay. And I'm just gonna hold those together. that one up and then I'm gonna put a strip of glue on this one So now we have our window pane all put together and it should look something like this right here and now what we're going to do is we are going to create a wreath to go on the front of this so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my pieces of uh, my stems of greenery and we're gonna take this stem of greenery and we are gonna kind of 
wrap it in like a circle as best as we can. And we're gonna take the, another one and do the same thing. We're gonna just wrap this in a circle. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our floral wire and we're going to wire these two pieces together. Cause we're making a wreath out of this greenery. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my floral wire, wrap it around, twist it till it's tight, and then just clip off the extra. And I just want enough um, to hold these pieces together. We're gonna take this third one, we're gonna wrap it in a circle, and we're gonna kind of fill in that space up at the top. Fill in that space up at the top that um, doesn't have any greenery. And we're gonna wire the two stems together. All right, so now we have our wreath like this. And this wreath is gonna just be centered in the center of our frames, or in the center of our like window that we have here. And so I want to figure out what is going to be my top and what is going to be my bottom. So I'm thinking that this will be my top and this will be my bottom. So I'm just going to switch. I'm going to flip this around. And I'm going to kind of lay it out how I like it. I just want to make sure that I have, you know, greenery and spaces that I want greenery. And if you don't, you can kind of just... Um, you know, bend the greenery however you'd like, just so that everything is laying in place how you like it. Okay, so I'm going to be using this ribbon. It's a burlap ribbon. It's got the gold edging. I'm going to be using this ribbon because I'm using a lot of golds in my decor for this spring. Like this Easter, I have a lot of like golds mixed in with like pastel colors. So that is why I chose this ribbon. And what I want to do is I want enough of the ribbon to go around the top of the um, wreath and it's going to be um, attached to the top of the window right here. So I want to cut just enough so that it will sit where I want it to sit on the front and then um, we'll have enough to attach it to the window itself. Okay, so now that I know how much ribbon I'm gonna need and where I want it sit um, placed on the front of my window, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this. Now you could staple it or you could tack it, but these picture frames aren't the sturdiest picture frames. And if you tried to put a staple or something in these, it might crack the picture frame itself. So that's why I'm gonna use hot glue. Um, first, I'm just going to put a strip of glue where I want my ribbon. Put some more glue in here. Okay, and I'm going to place my first ribbon right into that glue, right centered. Kind of just hold it in place there. And I'm actually gonna do another strip of glue um, on the top right here, just so that I know it's, um, it's nice and tight to the frame or to the, wi the, to the window. I'm just gonna push that down with my scissors so I don't burn my fingers. Just kind of hold it there for a few seconds just so that it sets. And once this is set, then we can wrap this ribbon around and we can glue, put another strip of glue on top of the ribbon right here. And we can wrap our other piece of ribbon around. All right, I'm gonna let that set. 
While that's setting, I am going to now take my little wall hanging here and I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut it right off of the piece here. So I just wanna use this centerpiece. I'm not gonna use this blue ring. I'm gonna use this centerpiece and I'm gonna attach this um, so that it kind of hangs down in the middle of my floral arrangement here. And I'm going to use some more of my floral wire that I have. Just gonna cut a piece. I'm gonna go right through the little existing hole that we were just, um, that it was just hanging from the other piece there. And I'm gonna go through my ribbon And I'm gonna go underneath my branches of my little wreath here. And again, I'm gonna go through the ribbon and try to go over the top of my branches. So now we're going to hold this little piece in. We're gonna, I'm actually just gonna twist that floral ribbon just to kind of um, create like a knot. And then I'm just gonna cut the excess off. And now it should be secured in place. Okay, so that's just about it, guys. I'm gonna take this piece down and put it on my mantle and we'll see how it looks. All right, guys, well, here it is. It's all finished and on my mantle and I decorated both sides of my mantle a little bit. And so that is what it looks like. I think it turned out really nice. I ended up adding just a few of these like purple and yellow berries. I, I had three of them um, just kind of that I had put aside. So I ended up putting some of those in just to give it a little bit of color. I didn't want too much color because I wanted to kind of keep that vintagey look to it. But I think it turned out really nice. And it looks nice with the like the big mirror behind it. Um, so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stick around because I have lots more DIYs coming up for spring. Have a great day guys, take care.